Hello everyone, welcome to Raw Sims, it's me Raw Sims, and this is part 4 of the Wallace Flynn household and you may immediately know something is a little bit different because, oh hey, look over here, who's this kid? It's Corinna, she's grown up, and that is because this is the second time I have recorded this part, um, yeah, this is the second time. The first time we had a little bit of an equipment failure and it, the recording got messed up, so. So yeah, we've, we've missed out a bit, but you know, she was just a baby and no, she's not. Though she's she's quite the styling kid. I barely, I gave her other outfits, but like every time I like added an outfit for her, she would just be, she has her own little style of her little hat. She, I didn't even give her that hat. She just had that hat on along with basically this entire outfit. Um, yeah, so you know, she, she aged up like this. Flawless. But anyway, it's, uh, it's Sunday. Nothing much really happened, obviously, besides Corinna aging up. And, uh, you know, they're chilling. Adria's at work. Because, you know, work is a thing that happens to people. Um, and I'm thinking, uh, that, um, Wesley and is gonna take the girls to visit the grandparents. So, sorry, Corinna, you're gonna have to wake up, honey buns. So we're gonna travel with... Corinna and Andrea, both adorable. We're gonna go visit the grandparents because uh, Corinna has never really met her grandparents. Oh, Deidre isn't home. Okay, well, whatever. We're gonna go visit. Go for a visit. A nice thing to do. Also, because they mostly don't know, like, <laughs> all of their uncles. So, you know. Alright, go, uh, get to knocking, bud. Get to knocking. They don't really have any play equipment at their house, though. So, that's a little sad. Um, Corinna, my darling, where are you going? You're embarrassed. And you're going to nap on a park bench. Do not do that. Alright, here. Why don't you go talk? He is always doing the weird thing where he walks super fast. And it lied because DJ is here. You're such a weird kid. Anyway, um, Corinna, go friendly introduce yourself to uh, this guy who is technically your uncle, even though he's like the exact same age as you. Um, you do not go play on their computer. Go, go talk to someone. Talk to, talk to Brandon. Go uh, ask Brandon about his day. You can go say hi to your, to your. Uh, your father-in-law, you know. You two, have you greeted him? No, you haven't. You're just kind of not doing it. Oh, you're about to be hugged by your father. Leave them alone. You can hug them anytime. Why can't you get in there? Go ahead in. There you go. Introduce yourself. He is your mysteriously the same exact age as your uncle. Though I guess that's the kind of thing that happens. You know, it happens. It happens. Come on. Stop being weird. I just want you to introduce yourself. There you go. That's all I wanted. Introduce yourself. Have a nice little chat. There you go. I wonder if three people could sit on here. Probably not. There you go. Perfect. And she, oh, she's also, I forgot to show you her traits. Okay, so she is a geek. Because that seemed adorable. And she is social butterfly aspiration. So she needs to make meet 10 Sims and make a friend. So, obviously, that's another reason to introduce her to her family. So say, come say hi to your grandma. She hasn't seen you since you were a baby. If indeed she even saw you then. So there you go. There's your grams. Um, ask your grams about being old. And it th it's about a new show. <laughs> Why are you standing in a weird... That's weird. Oh, talk to your gramps. Talk to your gramps! Talk to him too. What's wrong with you? Oh, you're tense because there's too many people around. Well, deal with it, buddy. You married into a massive family. This is the kind of thing you gotta deal with. Um, Why don't you use his, his little play table? Why not? 
He should let you use whatever you want. You're his niece. Yeah, there you go. Talking to your grandpa. Oh, and here is one of your uncles. Yeah, just meet everyone. There's your grams. There's your gramps. Here, learn learn their traits and stuff. Um, oh, you can beg him for new toys. You always want to beg your grandpa for new toys, you know? He's like, yeah, all right. You can have some new toys. Um, let's see. Let's, 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 let's uh, get to know. Yeah, let's get to know him. I want to learn out. Learn more about your grandpa. He's, he's lived an interesting life. Probably you found out that he's good. There you go. Then, uh, give him a hug. Then ask your uncle some stuff. Get to know your uncle a bit. Um, get to know your grams. Oh, did not enjoy something happened there. Um, give your grams a hug. That would be nice. Ask her about her day. And there you go. What are you doing? Oh, you're sad because you haven't done anything geniusy. Um, well, you can do something geniusy. I think they have geniusy things in their house. Maybe. Seems like they should have a chessboard somewhere around here. But maybe they don't. Oh, here it is. Here, go play chess together with whoever it is you're talking to, I think. Rodney. And you insist on getting on the computer. You're being so anti-social, Wesley. You need to go talk to your in-laws and stop ignoring them. Come up here and talk to your father-in-law. Don't be a jerk. Come up there and do that. Oh, look at her having a nice little chat with her grams. Um, enthused about candy. Let's see, talk about school. Get to know. You're just chatting it up, aren't you? Having fun. She's not really paying much attention to you, it seems, but. But hey, you're, give, you're giving it a go. There you go. And, uh, why don't you tell your grams, uh, goof around with your grams. That's fun. You want to get to know your sister. You want to find a collectible because you're a geek. And you want to tell a joke because you're happy. You did just tell a joke. Apparently it didn't count though. No, you were goofing around not telling a joke. My mistake. Okay, tell an inside joke. And Andrea has reached social level six. Nice. Talk with the giant stuffed animal will now reduce sadness. Also, Andrea can research idioms at a computer. And she's learned that Rodney is a goofball. Oh, what a nice little conversation they're having. Oh, her joke went over very well. That's adorable. All right, um, enthused about candy. Let's go down here. Is she, are you feeling better? You are feeling better because now you have done. He has this hilarious, weird, high little voice. It's hilarious. I love it. And she has to go to the bathroom now, so. Go ahead to the bathroom. Don't have an accident, honey buns. Don't have an accident. And you are just upset because, God, there are so many people. There's so many people you can't deal with it. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, she's probably tired. She's quite tired. She's made a friend, though. Who's your friend? What friend did you make? You, you randomly made friends with your dad, I guess. Alright, that's fine. Fine with me. And you still need to meet five more new Sims, but you're as sleepy as can be. It's almost five o'clock. She's still at work, but she gets off at five, so... And we're gonna go home now and greet greet mama greet mama at home oh not you you're already at home there we go <sighs> nice little visit to the family good times good times i'm gonna have to go visit uh emma and aiden at some point too just get the whole family all you know to know each other actually i don't know if the, both of the girls met brandon while they were there <laughs> We'll have to, we might have to invite him over so that they can actually know him. 
I think it's weird. Like, how are you just going to not know your uncle who lives in the same town and isn't, like, estranged from your family or anything? All right. So, you, yeah, go take a nap. You can definitely go do that. I'm not going to stop you. Adria's home. Drinking some juice. You are just a hot mess. Use the toilet. They're going to have to get another bathroom, dude, because it's four people in this house. And they only have one bathroom. That's that's not really acceptable. You know. You know. And uh, clean that up. That's disgusting. She has is tending to feeding her own little self. Some nice uh, eggs and toast. Here, steal your mother's uh steal your mother's own shoes. There you go. That's what kids do. They steal your stuff. I say this from experience as a child who steals my mother's food all the time. <laughs> oh, buddy. Yeah, you go and do that. And I'm really annoyed because for some random reason, I think it must be one of the mods I have. My, uh, my hotkeys for that are not working for the speeds. So it's really annoying. Um, you go get some food. You're not going to bed at 6 p.m., but take a nap. Um, you're just enjoying that orange juice with your meal. And see, you need a shower. You can take a shower after your dad finishes. And you still need to do extra credit work three times, but you can't. And you still need to play instruments for 10 hours and draw five uh, types of pictures on the activity table and achieve level 10 creativity skill. You got a lot to do, but you don't know the fifth type of picture, so you can't do that. So what you're going to have to do is uh, go and play your violin. That's going to be what happens after you get out of the shower. Are you enjoying that or are you just too busy being like sleepy and uncomfortable? Yeah, you're too busy being uncomfortable to really enjoy your delicious, good quality eggs and toast that your wife made. But be that way. Be that way. Here, flirt with him. Flirt with your husband. Instead of reading whatever this is you were reading. Why does no one ever put books away? Crisis Barn. What's this? Point Farmer No More, the downfall of Grant Rodiak. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh. That's funny, because, you know, in The Sims 3, there's that book, um, like, Point Farmer, The Tale of Grant Rodiak, or something like that. And that's like, one of the books that always comes with, like, every flippin' bookcase. Why are you being mean to, to Drago? Don't be mean to Drago. Hug Drago. Be nice to him. Ask him about Pangea. And about the past. Don't be mean to him. That's rude, honey buns. There you go. There you go. That's much better. Now go outside where people can't hear you. And uh, practice your, your violin. Go out there where we can't hear you. Because you're terrible at it. But you need to practice. <laughs> and here is little miss woken up from her nap. Getting some food. Here. Here, Mama Cito. Why don't you talk to your talk to your baby girl? Uh, express your admiration for her. Her her kicking style. Discuss color theory. Ask her about her day. She has never in her life been to school, so why would you ask her about that? Who's at the door? Who are you, small child? Ty Krupa. Um Ty, why are you at our house, boy? Why are you at our house? Our daughters are like eight years old, little boy. Why are you coming here? Who who do you even know? Well, she can't have romantic. Okay, do you know this little boy? Oh, you the one who know him, huh? Uh, uh, uh. Mm. My goodness, Andrea, you already got little boys knocking on the door for you. Jesus Christ, here. Come in, little boy. You gotta keep an eye on you. Gotta keep an eye on you. I'm in, little boy. Let's have a friendly introduction. See this child, who I guess may be our future son-in-law or something. He already, you know, clearly, like, 
guy's eye on our daughter. They could just be little friends. It could be it. Are you going to introduce yourself? You're already home. What you talking about, girl? Go introduce yourself to this little boy. Keep an eye on this kid. Interrogate him. Ask him about school and junk. Discuss his favorite author. See if he likes to read good books. That's important to know if he wants to be with your daughter. Or hang out with her or whatever. He's cute though. Look how adorable he is. He has a nice little style too. I like his little, his little yellow uh, chucks there. His little jacket. Look at him. Look at him. And you miss. You have to keep practicing your violin. So you can't even come see. What's his name? Ty. That is not allowed yet. Here, introduce yourself to Ty. You need to introduce yourself to people anyway. Introduce yourself to Ty. As you eat your eggs and toast. That was a nice, pleasant conversation. There you go. That should be number seven. Yeah. You're getting there, kiddo. You're getting there. How are you doing? Get that skill point. You gotta get the skill point before you can come greet your little friend here. We run out. We run a tight ship, and he's just gone to bed. He's like, goodbye, 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 cruel world. Why don't you tell him an outrageous story? And you get to know him. You want to know about everyone who tries to interact with your daughters. I'm like, look at her little face. <laughs> what kind of story is she telling? What in the world? I guess it's outrageous. It had to do with a dinosaur. She's making explosion noises. It's, it's a lot. Oh, he's hot-headed. That is not acceptable. What do you have? You a little boy. What do you have to be hot-headed about? Child, you're eight years old. You're already hot-headed. You a mess. You are a mess. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there, honey. There you go. Okay, now you can go say go say hi to your little friend. Ask him about his day. Go say hi to your little hot headed friend. And uh discuss interests. And things about candy. You can give him a hug and kick him out of your house because it's late. Why is he even still over here? It's pretty late. She's gone to bed too. She's like, good night. Good night. Alright. Talk to this kid. Chat it up. Alright. Bye, little child. Get out of our house. Uh, where is... That's just gonna end the conversation. Why can't I ask him to leave? Okay, well, we're just gonna end the conversation and we're going to bed. So, I guess you can hang out if you want, Ty, but nobody's paying any attention to you. Bye, kid. Everybody's going to bed. You're just gonna lurk around our house. I mean, if that's what you feel like you have to do, go ahead, but... Hey. Whatever. Come on, give me cheetah speed. Cheetah speed! No, we can't get cheetah speed while this kid is still working. Oh, he's making fun of our, our toy. Playing on our monkey bars. You got a lot of nerve, kid. Get a lot of nerve. All right, there we go. He finally left. Can we get you to speed? Can we get you to speed? Come on. There we go. There we go. They really need to add a button for that. Like, I wouldn't even care if it was only available when everybody was asleep or whatever, or everybody was gone. If they didn't want you to cheat to speed through the day, because as I understand it, the Sims can't actually process like they can't process what you tell them to do that fast so it'll actually sometimes take longer for them to actually do things because they'll have pauses as they're trying to process in between different like things that they're doing but I really just need that to be a button go back to bed little girl back to bed with you there we go oh god who's up now oh now it's you why don't y'all ever go to the bathroom before you go to sleep? So you're not waking up all night running to the bathroom. Come on now. Come on now. 
get back in the bed. There we go. There we go. Nobody wake up until you have somewhere to go. Oh, now it's you. Now it's you. But you just woke up because you you need to be awake. Because you're finished sleeping. I'll accept that. Why don't you serve breakfast for your family? You don't know how to make much of anything, but serve some scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs are delicious. Make that for all your girls slash women. Shouldn't call your wife a girl. It's disrespectful. Uh, got some milk you're carrying around for some reason. Look at them getting up in unison. Are you both finished sleeping? You are. You have to go to the bathroom, so you get to use the bathroom first. And take yourself a little shower. There you go. You get going. You just stink, so unfortunately you have to have to live with that. I really need to get them another bathroom. I have no idea where to put it, though. I guess I could give the girls an ensuite, which would seem a weird thing to do, because why wouldn't their parents have an ensuite? Let's see, do we have enough room? To, we don't have enough room to give the parents an ensuite. Unless we tried to shove it, like, up here. But then we get rid of all of our beautiful landscaping. I don't want to do that. And I don't want to build up because I always make things look horrible when I build up. Um. Then I could, I'm going to end up like, the house is going to end up like <laughs> extending back this way from this little section like for all the eternity. It's going to be all the way back here. Which would be really weird. But uh, they need another bathroom so we're going to have to do something. Gonna have to do something, so why not that? Alright, uh, let's see. Do we have any good styled bathrooms? I don't feel like dealing with messing with this. This is nice. Nice and simple. How big is this? That's a good size. Let's get that. Let's just get that. No, that's the wrong way. Let's turn that around. I didn't want you to go all the way over there as I turned you. Be right here. Alright. We need to move that door. Uh, let's see. We can put the dresser. Okay, wait. Let's move you so you don't take up so much space. Let's move our picture and our light. And put the store right here. There we go. There we go. Now the girls have their own bathroom. And now we have to like fix this. Oh, and our window went away. Our window went away. But it didn't go into our inventory. It's just it's just gone. Just gone now. Goodbye, window. You were you were nice. We hardly knew ye. There we go. Let's Slap that on there. Slap that on there. And. Get us another little roof bit here. Down one more. There we go. Stretch that out. Slap that on. Slap that on. There we go. It's weird, but what can you do? Get that on there and I mean I personally don't like bathrooms and windows because I don't want people to look at me in the bathroom windows are for looking but we're gonna put one up on like up here let's put it right on up there that's fine all right nice little quick job of a bathroom so poor Corinna can actually take a shower and not be stinky take a brisk shower you probably have to be energized to go to school yes you do Yes, you do. Stop playing on the computer. Stop playing Blick Block. Stop playing Blick Block, little girl. And you took your shower. Did you? No, you went to the bathroom. I thought you took a shower. Okay, now you're taking a shower. You're not even dirty. I could have sworn you already took a shower, but maybe I'm just losing it. And Adria's up. And she's stinky. As heck. You're uncomfortable because you're dirty. Well, you're taking a shower. Stop complaining. Alright, and Adria's just off to get some food while she's stinking. You're singing your little head off in the shower. That's cute. It's cute. It's cute. But get out of the shower. There you go. 
go go grab a serving of food adria please go take a shower you're you're disgusting <laughs> you're disgusting right now honey up here she is look at her look at her yeah she knows she's cool she knows she's cool go eat these eggs and toast that your mom pulled out but then didn't eat for whatever reason who knows who knows why just go do that eat some food with your dad and your sister have some friendly chat. Don't give her a pep talk. She doesn't need a pep talk. Uh, enthuse about new show. Ask about her day. Discuss interests. Play make believe. Let's see. Once you find a collectible and you want to clean something, is anything dirty? This is dirty. You can clean this. No, wait. You can't. Well, that's dumb. How would she met? You already knew your sister, but whatever. All right, here's Miss Adria. My darling, go eat some food. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be delicious. And her, she has to go to work in an hour. So does he. And they have to go to school. So I'm actually gonna end this part here. Um, this seems like a good place to end. I'm having a nice little family breakfast. It's good. It's good times. It is good times. And all, of course, everyone has to go off to school and work and all that good stuff. So, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave me a like uh, if you like this video. Uh, leave me a comment about anything you want. Tell me your thoughts, your feelings, your, your emotions. Why did you change clothes? Don't change clothes to go to school. Put on your other your other nice little clothes. It was it was cute. It was a cute little outfit you had on. I have no idea which one of your outfits that is. Oh well, now you got something different on. Anyway, go to school. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, leave me a comment about anything you want. And she just, I guess she just wants to wear that to school. Um, yeah. And, and, and it'll be cool. It'll be cool. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Bye bye.